So are you ready to set some tables, some tablescapes for our summer celebrations? Today, I have four tablescapes to share with you. They're fresh, they're fun, they're perfect for summer, and they're always on a budget. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 72 years old and I say it because if I can do it, I know you can do it too at any age. I have confidence in you. I want to thank all my dear sweet subscribers, all my wonderful friends that watch my videos and take the time to leave me a comment. It just really touches my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you want to consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these videos with different themes every single month. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. All right, are you ready? I've got some really cute tablescapes for you with some of the most popular themes, I think anyway. How about a black and white table with daisies and lemons? So fresh, so pretty for spring, summer, any time of the year. What about one that's all about the bees? I call it my bee happy tablescape with bees and bee skeps. The next one's all about going to the beach and it's all in shades of blues. We all love our blues, I know that. And the last one is going to be a old fashioned celebration of July 4th. Um, I just, I can't wait to show you all of these. And remember, if you don't do tables like this or tablescapes, use my centerpiece on your mantle or on your coffee table or on your buffet or a kitchen island. Take the color schemes and have that as inspiration. But make sure if you, if you don't do tables that you use some of these ideas in your summer home. I think you're going to have so much fun. I hope you love this. I hope you get so inspired. Inspired, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my Tablescapes for June. Can't wait to show you. You know, my theme is bees, lemons, actually daisies also, and the beach. And of course, we're celebrating 4th of July. I have four tablescapes for you. This first one has my favorite background black and white check. You can put anything with black and white check. You can put red, you can put yellow, you can put pink, you can do autumn leaves, you can do red and green for Christmas, you can do spring with pink roses, anything. So blue and white and black and white are really go-tos you should have if you like to tablescape. So I have black and white check fabric by the yard and my centerpiece is my little wagon, I guess it's a wheelbarrow actually, from Hobby Lobby. And I filled it with daisies and lemons. Though that's my theme for this tablescape, daisies and lemons, okay? And I did my little daisy balls, and then I did my cut faux fruit also here. And it's so fresh and beautiful, just like summer. Now, how did I bring those things over here? I started over here with my woven mat, and I must say you can use that every single day of the year. It goes with everything. I have a uh, charger here. This used to be red. I painted it black. Just remember, you can paint these things that you're not going to be eating off of. Okay, so this is black. Black and white check dishes. I have black and white uh, check napkins and my lemon plates from Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, the plate looks gray and white, but it's black and white. There you go, now you can see. Almost the same size check as my tablecloth. <laughs> Everyday faux ivory uh, flatware and glasses, and look at this. This will last you all summer long. You could set this up in March and just leave it up all through summer. It is so beautiful. I know we all love lemons as a theme. This would be so great in your kitchen as a color scheme or on a kitchen island or a buffet. So remember, if you don't do tablescapes, you can still use these ideas and color schemes. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to the daisies and lemons. And now we're gonna take a look at a Be Happy Tablescape. Welcome to my next tablescape. And I call this one Be Happy. 
the whole inspiration for this table was these adorable plates from Dollar Tree. I just absolutely love them. Sorry, my light's so bad here. I have a bee on here, some flowers, and it says be happy. It's so adorable. So for my centerpiece, I took one of my little stools from Hobby Lobby, my bee skip, which I made from a sand toy from Dollar Tree. I had that in a video, one of my earlier craft videos for this month. I brought out my two smaller topiaries with black and white check ribbon. This is another kind of beige, black, white, and yellow uh, color scheme. Anyway, I put some little stick on bees through the daisies and the lemons. These are uh, little bees from Hobby Lobby. They're in the craft department and they're very friendly looking because bees and I do not get along at all. I have a horrible reaction. Anyway, I interspersed my daisies and my lemons and my bees. And then to bring everything back over here, I started with a black and white plaid charger from Hobby Lobby, yellow melamine plate from Hobby Lobby, and my black and white check napkin I use all the time. And it works because it's a smaller check versus the larger check here. Everyday faux ivory, there we go, flatware and glasses. And you have an adorable, how cute would this be for a bee themed party? A uh, lemon and bee themed party for brunch, for breakfast, for lunch. Just absolutely adorable. All right. Are you ready to go to the beach? It's summertime, y'all. Let's go. Welcome to my next tablescape for June. It's time for the beach, you all. It's time to go down, get your pedicure, get your toesies in the sand and the water. It is time. This is one of my favorite tablescapes. I love blue and white. It's one of my favorites. Now, this tablecloth I started with, doesn't it look like you're looking into water and seeing the different ripples and waves? This is a shower curtain. It is cotton, but it's a cotton shower curtain I got from Target years ago. And I love it as a tablecloth. Okay, for my centerpiece, I got out my two little stools from Hobby Lobby. You all, these are great for uh, display and decoration. One of my wood slices on little tiny feet, my glass hurricane with a battery operated candle, part of a Dollar Tree sign that said Seaside. And I just got some greenery. This was a garland from Hobby Lobby that to me looks very much like seaweedy kind of how it would look. And I put a couple bottles from Dollar Tree of shells and then my two real starfish. I've had these for like 40 years. Um, and anyway, and then I have a buoy from Home Goods. It's not a real one. And then I got from Hobby Lobby this little uh, wooden, I guess you call it a sailboat. And of course this came from Dollar Tree. I wanted to bring in a touch of red because I have a little bit of red on that sign. And that's an anchor from Dollar Tree. So shop everywhere, that's what I say. Usually Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree are my go-tos. All right, how am I gonna bring this over into the place setting? I started with this rope placemat that I have from Hobby Lobby. I have two, uh, actually two Melanie plates here. This, this one and this one are both Melanie plates. But I absolutely love this one. It's kind of a blue tile design. It reminds me of the side of a pool. And then I have a blue Melamine plate. And then I just took uh, the little napkin ring I made, which I'm gonna show you how to make next month, put a little starfish on there and some of that fake seaweed and a linen napkin. I thought it just needed a little bit of beige. All right, an everyday faux ivory silverware and glasses. Let's go to the beach. You can almost smell the ocean. <laughs> All right, now let's go to a great celebration for our grand finale. Welcome to the grand finale of my tablescapes for June, and you know it's got to be 4th of July. 
And here I have Audrey the duck all decked out. She has a pinwheel. She's got exploding fireworks and she's celebrating our wonderful country. Let's take a look at this cute table. Now, again, I love red, red prints and blue prints. I love to mix them all together. And it works really well when you use geometrics and then an all over print. So I started with my blue plaid tablecloth. I got fabric by the yard from Hobby Lobby. This is really nice fabric too. And I do have matching napkins, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. But anyway, this makes a beautiful tablecloth. I have used this for Christmas with browns. I've used it for spring with pink roses and fall blue and orange. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this is well worth uh, investing in. Anyway, I have Audrey the Duck. Now, she has on this, this little garland here that I got from um, uh, Hobby Lobby recently, and it's got uh, blue and white check, red and white check, and burlap in it, and I cut a little piece and put it around her. It's kind of hard to see, but I wanted to put a little pinwheel on her because we have these exploding fireworks, which I'm going to show you in my next video how to make these out of paper towel rolls and really cute scrapbook paper, and this scrapbook paper comes from Hobby Lobby, and Audrey's just having a blast celebrating our wonderful country. So this is my centerpiece. And again, if you don't do tablescapes, you can also use this over on a uh, kitchen island or a party table. How cute would that be? And put your, your animal of choice. It could be roosters. It could be bunnies. It could be anything you want. Anyway, so how do I bring the colors and everything and the textures over to the place setting? Well, I start with my Hobby Lobby placemat. This is a this is a tied rope uh, placemat here, and I got that years ago, and I use it all the time. It's great for beach. You can use it for fall. You can use it for Christmas all the time. And you know I love red and white for my charger. Well, I found these star ones from Hobby Lobby. They're on sale right now, 40% off. And I thought, I have to have those. <laughs> I have red and white check, but I really wanted the ones with the white stars on them. Then I layered it, as I always recommend uh, change your colors so they kind of pop off of each other. So this brings out the burlap in the table, this brings out the red, and then I finished it with Liberty Blue plates. These were my mom's plates. Most of her apartment was all in blue and white, and she had these on the wall, and she also served food on them. And I could have done a matching napkin, but I decided to do red and white check. I just thought it was so cute. And homemade burlapy looking napkin ring, which I'm gonna show you how to make next month. And just some of these little sparklers I just stuck in there. And everyday ivory silverware and glasses. And I think it's so, so sweet. And it's all about America and the land of the free, and I just love it. Anyway, I hope you got so inspired um, looking at all my tablescapes for this month. And I hope you loved it. And you know I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.